it is my great pleasure and with thanks to professor atmaram that i present this lecture in the osapcon golden jubilee conference distal sodium channel block in orthopedics a new game changer this is applicable both to retro and metro dscb is a terminology coined by authors for distal sodium channel block of 0.5% dignocaine with clonidine with or without steroid given at specific spots in doses of 1 to 5 ml upper limb are alpha lower limb are beta trunk portals are tau and head and neck portals are called caput portals the portals have a specific location depth volume indication purpose and a specified duration of action all of which is being studied the effect lasts a minimum of 2 days and maximum of many many months and these are not like anesthetic blocks they do not produce motor blocks and are not indicated for surgical procedures initially described for discs and neurological issues these portals have now found a very wide range of applications the first upper limb portal is called the alpha 1 portal which is in the first web space with a fleshy part of the first web space injection is into the muscle and the common indications are shoulder humerus scapula elbow cervical radiculitis and arm and forearm neuropathies this is a very versatile portal does not work in collies shaft of humerus or wrist fractures however in all the other conditions the relief produced by this portal is dramatic whether you just use 0.5% dignocaine and 30 microgram clonidine or add steroids depends on whether it is a trauma or a neurogenic portal here we can see a fractured neck of a humerus who is being treated ergonomically he was advised philos by three surgeons i personally believe that philos is a dangerous implant with very very selective indications and its wholesale use must be restricted within 10 minutes of the fracture the person is smiling his arm and chest will be strapped together just for 3 to 4 days no more because to ensure that the fracture unites early movements are essential and macro movements in this area will ensure that the highly vascular neck of humerus will unite within 6 to 8 weeks sans scar and metal you can see him on the fifth day or day 3 with a large hematoma bruise on the arm and he has been encouraged actively to do wall crawling it is a little tough for him but the patient is cooperative and he is able to do it in just the 16th day without a cast or a plaster or a plate you can see his function absolutely pain free this patient is still under follow up uniting beautifully and hopefully in a short while should be back to his normal functional activities the next block is alpha 1a alpha 1a block is in the second web space in the fleshy part and only 2.5 ml is injected this is a primary trauma portal and so 0.5% xylocaine is the one that is injected and in combination with the hematoma block this is an ideal portal for wrist fractures close reductions miras or jess here's a collis fracture dorsal displacement radial deviation alpha 1 block in the first web space is given and uh, alpha 1a block in the second web space is given thereafter the patient is taken to the operation theater the part is cleaned and a hematoma block is given right into the fracture site the alpha 1 block does not work on the hematoma site so the patient is having very light pain now we wait for 15 minutes for the fracture to become numb and a proper reduction can be performed 
and the patient is cast with an unpadded single stockinet layer single layered fiberglass cast in volar flexion and ulnar deviation as should all collis fracture be this combination of local infiltration periosteal blocks and hematoma blocks has produced a change game changer in wrist and forearm fractures which can now be managed without anesthesia or the presence of an anesthetist in the theater and in the majority of procedures can now be shifted to the outpatient basis saving the patient and the surgeon a lot of time and of course some money distal sodium channel blocks when they were initially described were seen with lot of skepticism as people simply should not believe that injecting in the first web space could have an effect on shoulder or second web space could have an effect on a fracture of the wrist however today in many countries numerous surgeons are following this methodology with consistently happy results here is a post reduction x ray of the patient this was taken to the she was taken to the operation theater only for immediate post reduction cm images and normally these procedures are performed in the opd itself and the patient is sent to a radiology lab for subsequent x ray alpha 2 portal is in the carpal tunnel between the flexor tendons which is a primary neurology portal for cervical issues brachial neuralgia cervical spondylosis cervical radiculopathy and occasionally as an adjunct portal for carpal tunnel syndrome however we do not recommend dscb portals as a definitive management for carpal tunnel syndrome the alpha 3 portal is above the medial epicondyle humerus and the volume is only 3 ml this is an adjunct portal just like alpha 3 portal which will be helpful in cervical radiculopathy brachial neuralgia cervical spondylosis fracture neck of femur we must not go into the nerve we go away from the nerve above the medial epicondyle in all these distal sodium channel blocks we stay away from the neurovascular bundle but in close proximity alpha 4 portal is a mirror image of alpha 3 and it's about the lateral epicondyle useful for cervical radiculopathy brachial neuralgia cervical spondylosis and fracture neck of humerus here we have an alpha 4 portal just above the lateral epicondyle anterior to the nerve alpha 5 portal is a deltoid insertion portal which is at the level of deltoid insertion we go in deep touch the periosteum pull it out come to the muscle and inject and this is adjunct portal to alpha 1 portal a combination from of alpha 1 and alpha 5 is excellent for a lot of shoulder issues for all alpha portals relief starts in about 10 minutes and the duration of action is 5 days to many many weeks the beta portals are the lower limb portals and here we have beta 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 portals beta 1 is 2 cm in front and lateral to the anterior inferior border of lateral malleolus sub facial depth and is indicated in sciatica restricted slr hamstring spasm and all spine level l4 5 issues with the horizontal pain distribution you can see the cluster of nerves anterior to the lateral malleolus adjacent to the neurovascular bundle this is given beta 1 portal is 20 minutes duration is 521 days aggressive physio or rehab is necessary the above picture is beta 2 portal which is behind the posterior inferior border lateral malleolus depth is subfascial again volume is 2.5 to 3 ml and this is a neurogenic portal principal indications are sciatica restricted slr hamstring spasm etc the pain is either horizontal or vertical 
and you can see the level is just behind the post the lateral malleolus on the posterior side on the lateral aspect of the foot this again takes about 15 minutes to have its effect and relief is for 5 to 21 days aggressive physiotherapy and rehab for back ache and sciatica related issues ensure sustained relief beta 3 is the walker portal mirror image of beta 2 level is behind the posterior inferior border of the medial malleolus indicated in sciatica restricted slr hamstring spasm and spine levels we can see again you go behind the neurovascular bundle you should not inject into the neurovascular bundle that is a key for dscb portals and the time of effect and duration is similar and as with other beta portals it is essential to substitute with physiotherapy forget my double audio on the back this is my cousin who had come with severe back pain restricted slr and agony we had given the sacroiliac portal which is tau portal about which i'll come back a little later and then we had given her in her ankle in beta 1 portal she was a 28 year old low year old a uh, little obese lady and tau 4 portal is primarily useful for apart from this many other conditions so a combination of beta 1 and tau 4 portal was tried in this quick patient this is an already recorded video so you will see two of my faces it might be a little distracting just forget my other face you can see the patient slr at about 40 degrees she is not able to move it other leg she is able to move a little bit more she is in acute agony she is in pain this is not my clinic this was taken my bedroom because she was too shy to come to the clinic a relative of mine i am cleaning the tau 5 site which is the sacroiliac joint on the affected side and then i am cleaning the lateral side of the ankle which is for beta 1 portal the most uh, versatile portal i am also injecting her beta 2 and 3 portals on both sides because she had a restricted slr on either side and she had a piriforme syndrome also so this combination work especially for the failed back ache surgeries people who have had repeated spine surgeries people who have had interbody fusions on the plates have broken people who have had micro discectomies endoscopic surgeries of the back any back surgeries that have failed and the patient has still back pain and he has got symptoms of restricted straight leg raise these all these patients do extremely well with multiple blocks i am sorry to be narcissist by showing a same video with three of l prakashes in the images but then you can see a result exactly in 20 minutes and slr goes to normal on one side and the other side the patient tells me that she has never felt so happy and pain free in her entire lifetime and within half an hour of the injection she had completely forgotten about her limp she had forgotten about her pain she was having a massive smile on her face and she was dancing with joy in less than 45 minutes of giving her an injection that is how miraculous and magical these in 3a and beta 3b portals these are the first and second two web spaces depth is intramuscular and this is adjoint to beta 3 portals useful for spine levels l3 l4 l5 and s1 where the pain is vertical horizontal or generalized this is a mix and match approach and each surgeon develops his own technology his own methodology his own experiences which teach him how to go ahead beta 4 portal is 1 cm anterior inferior to the tip of the fibula in intraocular space 
the depth is deep you have to go way down deep and this is primarily useful for medial oene miralgia parasitica hamstring spasm you should be away from the nerve you should go a little above the nerve into the space between tibia and fibula to the intramuscular depth and the effect starts in less than 10 minutes duration of effect is 5 to 21 days or even longer aggressive fluid therapy to break the pain anxiety pain cycle will ensure that the patient is pain free for a considerably longer time beta 5 portal is a calf portal which is given right into the calf muscle 6 cm below the knee joint primarily useful for intraarticular fractures painful osteoarthritis of knee painful rheumatoid arthritis of the knee and allied knee pains this is a very short acting portal last only 3 to 4 days primarily for testing if pfo will work or for reducing and casting uh, tibial plateau fractures beta 6 is a very very important portal the spot is adjacent to the femoral nerve in the inguinal region the depth is subfascial this is useful for emergency pain management of femoral fractures trochanteric fractures subcapitals acetabular fractures dislocated hip joints pelvic fractures great tuberosity and lesser tuberosity fractures but the effect lasts for 3 to 4 days sometimes up to 5 days and when you are treating neck of femurs or trochanteric fractures conservatively this is an ideal use you can see a stable intertrochanteric fracture in an elderly during covid times who did not want to have surgery we have just given him a block and walked him and the fracture united in less than 8 weeks without any metal without any shortening another case with a undisplaced stable trochanteric fracture was injected and the fracture went on to union in 6 days by walking alone again a video in video with two prakashas showing a live patient demonstrated being treated with beta 6 block alone and mobilization an 86 year old lady recovered hemiplegic with a fracture of uh, uh, trochanteric fracture stable we all know that fixation of trochanteric fractures carries as high as 30% mortality at the end of one year it is said that less than 66% patients with a trochanteric fracture see first year first birthday after the fracture and 40% are unable to walk independently ever in their life 50% never recover fully so are we aggressively treating with dhs pf on a spica none of these heal the it fractures walking with compression is the one that heals the fractures block and walk is a new method for treating intertrochanteric fractures and here the best method is to inject beta 6 and make the patient walk here's a fresh stable fracture of an 86 year old patient 65 year old patient here we are cleaning the groin space beta 6 block is one finger breadth lateral to the femoral neurovascular bundle the patient was in extreme pain before the injection was given as it is a trauma portal we are just giving 0.5% lignocaine along with 30 micrograms clonidine the neurovascular bundle is palpated the finger is kept on the neurovascular bundle and then we go little lateral to the neurovascular bundle right into the inguinal crease and inject just 4 ml of the cocktail consisting of 0.5% lignocaine and 30 micrograms clonidine the time for effect of this portal is roughly 20 minutes and then you can see that the patient has started moving the leg pain free after the injection there she is with the fracture with no metal no pfn no dhs nothing inside her body and there she is standing up on her own with assistance of the doctor and a nurse and given a walker she will walk with greater efficiency than she would have had 
if she had had her dhs or pfn two days ago no surgery no anesthesia no risks and no complications especially if the fracture is stable you can see without a walker the patient is partially weight bearing or hopping on her limb within less than 25 minutes of giving her a beta 6 block so these blocks are revolutionary game changers in the field of orthopedics which teaches a whole new philosophy of management in elderly patients who are otherwise unfit <coughs> or unwilling for surgery covid times have taught us wonderful lessons and i had a great opportunity of experimenting dscb blocks in a wide variety of patients for a lot of non orthopedic sorry non a lot of traumatic non operative conditions with outstanding results we can see in half an hour of the block the patient is independently mobile walking on her own not being supported by the nurse or the doctor and walking with a walker in two days time the pain relief was a little more dramatic and the patient was able to walk even better and more comfortably the tau portals are the trunk portals and are useful for a wide variety of conditions mostly fracture ribs the first portal tau 1 portal which is a mid sternal portal over the sternum in its middle the depth that's here the space is less we need to inject with some force 1 2 ml is enough just middle of the sternum hit the periosteum and push single multiple rib fractures viral pneumonia including covid severe asthmatic attacks stress infection and in helping chest physio in rib fractures treated ergonomically injection needs to be repeated every 3 to 4 days we that as a two portal tau two portal is mid axillary port above picture is wrong it is given in the mid axillary line here and that is the correct line and as the space is less we need some force for injection effect is seen in 10 minutes or less and last for 3 days so we are useful you were using this for single and multiple rib fractures viral pneumonia including covid severe asthmatic infections asthmatic attacks and this actually revolutionizes the treatment of multiple rib fractures so we just need to repeat the injections in 3 to 4 days till the patient become normal this can also be used for other issues like herpes and neuralgia the relief is actually dramatic here is a hepatic patient and in 3 days it has healed and the pain has disappeared much easier and safer than giving toxic antiviral drugs for a very long time tau 3a and b portals are supra and infra umbilical portals it general physician general surgeons portal not very relevant to orthopedic surgeons but still very very useful because a single injection sometimes lasts indefinitely meaning the patient gets cured of his ailments pediatric gastroenteritis constipation systemic viral illness mesenteric lymphadenitis irritable bowel syndrome viral gastroenteritis corona diarrhea many such cases with a plethora of medicines and managements given over months and years have failed to work tau 4 is what i had already demonstrated earlier in piriform syndrome and spondylolisthesis is at the sacroiliac joint extremely useful adjuvant portal for back aches discs and allied problems that's given on either side of the midline effect is seen in 10 minutes is also very useful in fractures of pelvis fracture dislocation of the hips low back pain without radiculitis adjuvant portal in coccygodynia also next comes the tau four caput portals or head and neck portals head and neck portals again part of it is relevant to orthopedics especially in cervical spine and cervical spondylosis 
but also to neurosurgeon and general physician caput one is a mid forehead portal or the bindi portal exactly in the middle of the forehead depth is skull periosteum the needle hits the bone it is withdrawn a little and we are injecting just 1.5 to 2 ml because that is all the space available this is a fantastic portal for tension headache migraine sinusitic headache and undiagnosed chronic headaches time for effect is 15 minutes duration is 8 to 12 hours and break the headache pain anxiety cycle less toxic than 650 mg of paracetamol and effect is much much more dramatic and much much more rapid so this is a far better the dose than the method than aclofenac or diclofenac or paracetamol k2 portal caput 2 is above the ear temporal portal just 1.5 cm above the top of the ear <coughs> depth is up to skull periosteum extract and inject tension headache wry neck torticollis torticollis cervical spondylosis pain the duration is 3 days or long, longer and clearly breaks the pain anxiety pain cycle so this is a caput 2 or temporal portal i have taken special care to identify and show the portals for you you are encouraged to study human anatomy think out of the box find new portals experiment with them and share with us dscb blocks are thus opening new vistas in pain management they are game changers in fracture pain management very useful for fractures spine issues neurological issues let us all learn together <coughs> and share together thank you very much for the organizers for allowing me this platform and for viewers for listening to me thank you very much for this opportunity